Evil Dead 1 and 2 are horror masterpieces. When I think of great horror films for beginners in a genre, I usually think of these. Now, I would count Army of Darkness, but that's more of a fantasy action comedy rather than a horror, though it still has some elements of horror in it. Keep in mind, this is coming from somebody who loves all three films and the TV series, Ash vs. the Evil Dead. I wish they didn't fucking cancel it, but whatever. I will say though, just to piss you off, because I love pissing people off, the Evil Dead remake sucks. The first Evil Dead film was more of a conventional horror flick with a very basic premise. Five friends go to a cabin in the woods. Ash Williams and Scott discover a reel-to-reel -reel tape along with a mysterious book known as Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the Book of the Dead. They all gather around and listen to what's on the tape. The tape reads out a spell which awakens the deadites and slowly possesses everyone within the cabin with Ash Williams being the only one left standing. The second film starts off where the first film left off. Ash is still stuck at the cabin and is now possessed. Ash's hand begins to have a mind of its own, and Ash, in turn, has to cut it off. A bunch of strangers, along with the daughter of the scientist who was studying the book, come by the cabin and slowly get possessed by the Deadites. I should mention that, even though this is kind of minor, Ash does become unpossessed when he sees his dead girlfriend's necklace. I don't know how the fuck that works, but fuck it, who cares? Ash begins to fight and dismember the Deadites, becoming the chainsaw, double barrel, shotgun wielding motherfucker we all love. Holy shit, that was set red perfectly. What the fuck? Groovy. One giant ass Deadite later, and now he's stuck in medieval times. Fuck! Ash Williams is what makes this series what it is. Without Ash, this series would be. This is why the remake doesn't fucking work! These films were very innovative in terms of low budget effects and filmmaking tricks that we kinda take for granted. For instance, this film heavily implemented shaky cam that wasn't fucking dog shit. Also, the editing is just fantastic. I mean, look at this. From what I know, there was a debate for years as to whether or not Evil Dead 2 is a remake or a sequel. Let me play this interview clip from the man himself. We didn't own the rights to our own movie that was done by New Line Cinema. The second movie was done by Dino De Laurentiis. Well, we didn't have the rights. We couldn't get the rights to our own movie, which is the most ridiculous thing ever. So we just shot a recap with different actors as though that was the recap, but people thought, What's with all, he's coming back to the same cabin with these new people, what? So there's a big debate of is Evil Dead 2 a remake or a sequel? It's a, it's a, it's a requel, you know, it's, it's whatever you wanna call it. So if you really wanna do it right, you take the first Evil Dead up to where the evil entity hits me, go right into Ash being thrown through the trees, it would all make perfect sense. Now I am going to admit, I did have a hard time trying to write some negatives, only because I tend to just forgive these films because they're just so fun to watch. I guess with Evil Dead 2, the only real negative I have is just the way the ending was executed. It's rather sloppy. I mean, I will give them the excuse that they still had a relatively low budget, but it doesn't even work in terms of connectivity with Army of Darkness. And in terms of Evil Dead 1, the other characters other than Ash and Linda just feel kind of bland and forgettable. 
two of the only real negatives I can find with Evil Dead 1 and 2. With Evil Dead 1, the effects are kind of understandable, but with Evil Dead 2, it... Ugh. Both of these films are definitive horror classics, and if you haven't seen these films, get out of your fucking rock. There's a billion releases of these films. Speaking of which, I'm going to tell you which ones to get because there's so fucking many out there, I think it's kind of crazy. For the first film, get the Ultimate Edition or the Blu-ray. For the second film, get both the Blu-ray and the DVD released by Anchor Bay in 2000. This version has both the open mat and widescreen ratios of the film. Well, I have one more movie to look at this month, and oh boy, this is going to be a big one. If you enjoy our content, then please consider supporting some film snobs on Patreon. Thank you.